Welcome to the channel. My name's Tom Pito and this is my 10 minute mobility flow. We're going to start off with some inchworms, great hamstring stretch. You're going to hinge at the hip. You're going to reach down towards your toes. You're going to walk out into a press up position on the way back in. Keep your legs straight for as long as possible till you can touch your toes, then hinge back up. We're going to do five of these. You can notice as I hinge down, I'm not rounding my back straight away. I'm seeing how much can I hinge with a nice neutral spine before I need to flex. You might not need to flex your spine at all to reach your toes, or you might need to flex it a lot. If by the time you've rounded your back, you still can't reach the floor, then feel free to bend your legs slightly also. We're gonna do five of these, and then we're gonna move on to some Spider-Man lunges. Stay out in the press-up position at the end of this inchworm. Then take one leg, put it on the outside of your hand. You're going to rotate each way, pointing to the ceiling. Once you've done both sides, switch your legs around. You're going to put the other foot on the outside of the hand. Try and straighten the back leg up. Turn each way once. That's one time per side. We're going to total three per side. This is the final time. Then we're gonna move into something called frog rocks. So you're gonna bring both feet in, slot the elbows on the inside of the knees, posture upright, and then you're gonna rock side to side. When you rock side to side, you wanna make sure that your heels stay on the floor. Try and maintain some good upper back posture also, keeping the chest proud, pulling the shoulder blades back, and maximize the flexion of the ankles. about to move on to frog to pikes. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna sit deep into the frog squat, holding onto your toes, and you're gonna stand into the pike. We're doing this five times. So sit deep into the frog squat, posture upright, and then stand into a pike position where you're tucking your chin under and standing your hips as high as you can get without letting go of your toes. The knees should be on the outside of the elbows and do this for five reps. This is the final rep, then you're going to sit onto your bum and you're going to do some 90-90 knee drops to get the hips mobilized. We're going to keep the knees at a 90 degree angle, you're going to drop until you make contact with the floor with both knees, you're going to do five per side. Try and maintain an upright posture, you can prop yourself up with your hands or you can take your hands off completely, but if you do that you still want to maintain a nice upright posture. Stay onto this side now and we're going to go into some 90-90 circles. So you're going to circle your chest either over your knee, shin or foot. Keep that knee pushed down if needed. If you're more flexible, you'll be making circles more over your ankle. If you're less flexible, your circles are going to be more over the knee. Once you've done 10 each way, we're going to do the same again on the other side.
In a moment, we're gonna transition into some hurdler reaches. We're gonna do three per side. So flip to the other side, extend one leg out, reach down towards that foot. And then you're gonna tuck that leg back in and transition over. You're gonna kick the front leg out, reach your head down towards your knee, reach your hands towards your toe. And then you're gonna hook that back in and transition back. We're gonna do three per side with just a brief reach down towards your toe. You can prop yourself up with the back hand if you want to maintain a better posture. And as you reach your head down towards your knee, you wanna breathe out and try and relax into the stretch. Next up, we're gonna mobilize the upper back. You're gonna come into a four point kneeling position. You're gonna be reaching one hand as far under as you can, and then round pointing back to the ceiling. We're gonna really open out that chest and upper back. We're gonna do 10 on one side, and then we're gonna do 10 on the other. After this, we're gonna move on to some tabletops. These are really important for developing some shoulder extension. They're useful when you're trying to do exercises such as tricep dips, or when you're trying to work on the gymnastics rings. I'm gonna use my knuckles, but you can just go flat on your palms if it's comfortable. I'm gonna drive your hips up into a tabletop and then come back down. Predominantly pushing off your heels, put a slight pelvic tilt at the top of the movement, and you don't want to arch your lower back you want to keep your ribs tucked down and in. You should feel a stretch up your bicep and the front of your shoulders. You've got two more tabletops and then we're gonna move on to my favorite mobility exercise, which is gonna be some page turners. It's a great release for the upper and the lower back. You're gonna lie onto your side. You're gonna take the top knee up to a 90 degree angle and keep it in contact with the floor. Your bottom leg's straight, and you're just gonna turn over as far as you can. Maintain contact with that knee and the back of your hand on the floor throughout the whole movement. You're gonna do five reps, and then we're gonna move into the same thing with an overhead reach added in. So you're gonna do five classic page turners, and then after this one, you're gonna move into the overhead variation. So you're gonna come up halfway, and then reach your thumb diagonally up, feeling a little bit of a stretch in the lats. Once you've done five of these, we're gonna do the same on the other side with five flat turns, and then five overhead reaching turns. If it's more comfortable, you can put a cushion or a roller underneath that knee that's at a 90 degree bend. If you feel like it's okay, then don't worry about that.
you come in onto the last overhead page turner now and then we're going to test out that mobility that we've been working on by doing five slow tempo deep squats just try and keep pace with me we want the knees driven out to the side drop your hips down between the ankles as low as you can you definitely want to maintain a good upper back posture your arms come and come out for some counterbalance and just see what your mobility is looking like make sure you keep your heel on the floor throughout the squat and maintain even pressure between your big toe the outside of your foot and your heel on this last rep now you're going to put your hands behind your ears you're going to squat down you're going to pause overhead reach straighten the arms out pull the arms back you're going to hold this and then in a second we're going to return the hands behind your ears and stand up good job thanks for joining my mobility routine hopefully you did enjoy this video if you did give it a like check out my channel there's loads of other follow along videos you can get involved with and if you're enjoying the content subscribe which of those mobility exercises did you find the most useful put in the comments i'd love to hear from you